Hey, Jared, this is Bernie from Be Present Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time uh, earlier to speak with me. Now, in this quick video, we're going to go over three things which you can start to do to beat out your competition, improve your website traffic, and bring in more online customers. Now, Jared, you may be asking why are we making this video? Well, in our research, we found that a lot of small business owners, such as yourself, are too busy taking care of your employees and your customers, and you just don't have time to learn how the internet works to bring in more customers. Now, we feel the only thing that's stopping you from hiring someone is that you don't know who's an expert and who's not. So we put together these attack plans, and we give them away for free. Some people go out there and implement this totally on their own. Some people call us back and say, hey, Bernie, you know what? I like you. Uh, can you do this for me? Uh, whatever you decide to do is totally fine with us. Our only goal is to educate you and make you more money. Now, the three things we're going to talk about, one is going to be content. The second is going to be backlinks, and the third is going to be citations. Now, content is any words on your web page. Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on a web page, depending on the number of keywords needed. Now, a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular product or service, right? A keyword should be placed throughout your website, on the page, in the content, telling Google, who then tells the end user that you exist and what you're looking to rank for. So for example, if you guys were plumbers in Oceanside, you want to have keywords on your website like plumber, Oceanside, leaks, flooding. Then you know Google then uses that, then tells the, the end user that you exist. So if we take a look at your page here, we can see um, you have your, your name here. This is great. You have your heading, uh, some of your services that you do. Your, um, everything looks good, some pictures. Um, and also keep in mind that in these pictures, you can actually save these pictures as save as, and if you save them, you can save them as keywords. So what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to put in um, something like uh, concrete flooring power washing. That way when Google's crawlers crawl your website, they'll see that keyword and they're going to rank you for that keyword. So you want to definitely save all your pictures um, not as, um, you know, numbers, but as specific keywords that you want to be ranked for. So again, Google likes to see content. So if I take a look at your page, um, and see how much content you have on here, we can analyze that right now. You have 456 words of content. Um, and if I take a look at your next competitor here, which is, uh, it's Pittsburgh pressure washing. You can take a look at their page really quickly. Uh, they have a caption page, which is decent. Their services, some more pictures, they do fencing. Okay, and if I take a look at their uh, word count, uh, let's go to word count. And we can see here that they have about 1,068 words. And we'll look at the third competitor, which is uh, Keystone Pressure Washing, Roof and Roof Cleaning. Uh, we'll take a look at their page really quickly. Uh, they have a fairly fair amount of content on their page. It's their services area. Okay, and we take a look at their word content. You can see uh, that they have about 1,045 words. So again, um, Google likes to see content. Um, and it, it helps them to uh, tell the end users exactly what your page is about. So the more content you have on there, the more keywords we're going to be able to place on your website. And I think if from an organic standpoint, we can easily outrank these guys if we get you up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words and, and we can start to bring you more traffic. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about something that's called a backlink. Now, a backlink is anywhere you find a website via a clickable hyperlink linking from their website to your website. Now, these backlinks, they act as an endorsement. Um, of your website. Uh, Google uses them to build trust in your business by seeing other businesses vouch for your business. Now the internet is literally like a popularity contest. The person with the most backlinks is going to win. But keep in mind, not all backlinks are created equal, so you want to go out there and you want to get relevant backlinks. right? You don't want to go out there and get a backlink from Pizza Hut or Domino's because Google knows that you guys are not a, a pizza company, so it wouldn't be relevant to your business. Um, some good backlinks are um, from HVAC guys, from uh, roofers that you may know, 
uh, from some other businesses. And you can go out there and you can kind of do something what we call a backlinking circle where you can you do an outreach to a, a roofing company. You might write an article about power washing and roofing and you put that link on their website and that article on their, on their website and it links back to your websites. So what I use is a, we use a paid tool uh, called 888Ahrefs uh, to check backlinks. So if I check your website, here we can see that uh, as it loads, a little slow here, uh, we can see that this is your website and we can see that right now you have zero backlinks you're actually being found for eight keywords and your traffic organically every single month is about three clicks um, per month. Um, so we definitely want to work on this and get more referring backlinks, more websites linking back to you. If we take a look at the competitors that we looked at before, we can see that uh, backlinking, they have about 1,100 backlinks. They have about 61 uh, keywords that they're being found for in terms of pressure washing, pressure washing Pittsburgh, pressure washing different locations. Um, soft washing, words like that, etc. And they're getting about 90 organic clicks every single month to their website. And if I take a look at the third competitor, we can see that they have 237 uh, backlinks. They're being found for about 315 keywords and they're getting organic traffic every single month to their website of 186 clicks, which is uh, pretty good. Um, so again, what we can do is we can get, then now go out there, put together a backlink strategy. Now, you know, backlinks that we can use are, like I said, we can write a blog, we can get backlinks from um, guest posts to other sites, uh, but we want to show Google that we are an authority in the uh, exterior cleaning, soft washing, power washing business, as well as window cleaning. Okay, now the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about a citation. Now, a citation is anywhere, anytime you see your name, business, and address, phone number appear in a directory exactly as it is on your Google My Business page. Now, citations help you rank in the Google Map Pack, which is extremely important for local businesses such as yourself because it can bring a huge amount of revenue. Uh, the as the more your citations go up, which is your name, address, and phone number, show up in directories like Yelp, Angie's List, Expertise, Better Business Bureau, social media accounts are a good one. The idea is to, to have your, your brand being seen all over the internet. Uh, the larger your presence, the more Google is going to trust your website and it's going to trust your business. Once they see your business you know, out there more than other companies, they're going to begin to rank you higher than those companies. So I did a basic search here uh, just to give you something. Uh, pressure washing uh, Pittsburgh, and we can see right here it gets about 210 clicks every single month. Uh, we know that this is the paid advertisement section here, and this is the Google My Business section here right now. So again, if uh, JB Power Washing LLC has you know, 20 citations, we want to go out there and get 30 or 40 citations. If Mertz Window Cleaning has, and Pressure Washing has 50 citations, we want to go out there and get into 50 or 60 or 70 directories as well. Um, and so we now we know that, that that's where this happens. And then right here is the organic, uh, the organic search. So all these companies, which is the ones uh, Keystone Power Pressure Washing, they're organically ranking for here because they have more backlinks, more relevant content, and Google sees them as an authority. Um, what's good for them is good for, for us. Whatever backlinks that they have out there, we can then do a, a research, um, find out what their backlinks are, and just pretty much copy what they're doing as well as adding some back to our, our arsenal so we can outrank them. Um, I did see that you guys are ranking here, um, pressure washing. Um, there's not no value for this search, but you guys are uh, number one in this location uh, for that search, so that is good. But I think having you guys uh, with a robust website um, so you can take this organic search uh, because 40% of the people search um, for pressure washing are going to click here, which is the map pack, and the other 30% are going to go here in this uh, organic search box. Um, so again, I hope this was helpful. You know, I want to say thank you for watching this video. You can do one of two things right now. You can absolutely go out there and implement this plan totally on your own. Um, you can do it, you know, update your website, 
you can get a backlinking strategy. But keep in mind, it does take some time for all these steps to, to come into play. So you want to get you know this going as soon as possible so you can start profiting. Um, or if you feel like you know you need more information and you want you know me to sit down and we can do a deep dive, uh, feel free to give me a call on my numbers at the bottom of the screen. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.